we had some breaking news drop that um, Gina Carano is actually suing Disney. Yeah. And um, and uh, Elon Musk is going to be basically fully backing her. So I'm yeah. gonna... crazy. <laughs> it's just out of left field, dude. Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah. My man is wild. So I'm going to actually pull up the article now. Can you see that? Yeah. All right, cool. So let's see here. Gina Carano sues Disney over Mandalorian firing with funding from Elon Musk. First of all, wild headline. I saw that and I was like, oh, we got to talk about this now. Yeah. yeah. Now. <laughs> so it says here, we'll just read a little bit of it, guys, because the article is quite long. But it says, actress Gina Carano, best known for her role as Cara Dune on The Mandalorian, is suing Disney over her firing from the series, alleging uh, discrimination and wrongful termination. Spotted first by The Hollywood Reporter, which also published the lawsuit in full, Carano's legal counsel filed a, com filed a complaint in the United States District Court Central District of California today. Carano's, excuse me, Carano alleges that she was terminated by her role because she dared voice her own opinion on social media platforms and elsewhere. The former, M the former MMA fighter also published a statement on Twitter, or now known as X, <clears throat> in which she revealed that Elon Musk is funding the lawsuit, citing the tech entrepreneur's previous pledge to fund any legal action on X slash Twitter's user who, faces who faced workplace discrimination because of their activity on the social media platform. In her statement, Carano claims her words were consistently twisted, demonized, and dehumanized. Dehuman dehumanized me, sorry guys, as a <laughs> alternate wrong alternate right wing extremist. Um, it was a bullying smear campaign aimed at silencing, destroying, and making an example out of me. She also claims that her male co-stars permitted to speak without harassment and re-education courses or or termination, but I was not afforded the same right to ex to exercise my freedom of speech. That's pretty deep, guys. So, yeah. guys, let us know in the chat what you guys think about that. Um, you know, obviously, we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes with Disney. Disney is very tight lip when it comes to things like this. Um, we do know that Disney has their it has their views, you know, and if you don't align with their views then you know you don't you don't fit their criteria and i get it mm -hmm. right at the end of the day it's a business and you want to keep a certain you know you want to keep a certain image and everything like that so makes sense um yeah. but at the end of the day right like she's kind of got a point so i don't know you know as americans we have freedom of speech which is a beautiful right. thing so is Disney wrong for this? I'm really not sure, right? Like, I'm not into politics, so I don't really know all the ins and outs. So I don't really have a leg to stand on and have a real opinion on this. But what what are your thoughts, Carter? So, I'm like you. I'm not a political person. I try to stay out of uh, political talk. But like with this, you know, agree or disagree with what she said. At this point, I kind of forgot what she said. Um, me agree too. or disagree with what she said i mean it's her opinions right and mm -hmm. you know you can respect that or not respect that but for her to basically lose her job not only lose her job but to lose you know a potential show that she was going to star in rangers of the new republic i mean that's that's a lot just for just for sharing an opinion you know what i mean like it 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 is completely unfair and she does have a case and personally I, I i hope she wins i hope she wins the wins the this wins it and successfully sues them because like that's when when it came out that she was fired i mean that's that was crazy because she was a big part of season two and mm -hmm. a pretty big part of season one and it was kind of weird not having her in season three almost like they just yeah. went, oh yeah, she's just she's doing other things, you know. There she's she's out there doing other things, and I wish that they would have brought her back because I had zero issue with her character. I thought her character was super interesting and super 
dope you know what i mean so mm-hmm. but at this point if she's gonna sue she's not gonna get her job back but i mean but i i hope she wins it yeah i think that ship has definitely sailed you're right she's not coming back to disney so and she knows that so she's like you know what screw it let's go all out mm-hmm. so you know i get that um in terms of you know because i i don't remember what she said exactly so you know, I don't really have an opinion on that. It's been what a few years now at this point. It's been it's been almost like three or four years now since yeah. this. Um, but I what I do remember from it, it was it was taken out of like context, completely out of context. Yeah. Um, and it was made to and people made uh, her to look like the worst person on earth. But like, that's the thing. Like people people don't look at the whole context of what she's saying, of what she was saying, whatever that could have been. They just go on Twitter and they see everyone else talking about it and be like, Oh, she's a terrible person. And be like, Oh, then she must be a terrible person. I'm not going to look at that. What, what she actually said. I'm just going to believe this one person on social media. And then boom, she loses her job. Yep. Cause a lot of people just went to Twitter and be like, Oh, they're saying that she's a terrible person without knowing the context. Oh, she must be a terrible person. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's the problem with the internet. Like, if you just believe the first thing you read, oh my goodness, then you're going to be thrown into yeah. left field because the internet is full of just all kinds of things that are just absolutely not true or has mm. pieces of truth, right? And then what happens is you're like, oh yeah, like I know this piece is true because of whatever. So the rest of everything else on this article or news story or whatever must be true. And that's actually right. very false. So um so we'll see you know it's it's a shame i think just in regards of like the freedom of speech aspect of it Mm -hmm. i hope she wins because that's bullcrap you know yeah just to lose your job over having an opinion um so you know now you know i'm sure that maybe her whatever she said might not align with exactly with my views but just in like as a broad general statement like if you have an opinion, you shouldn't be penalized for it, you know? Right. Now, obviously, know your place at the same time, too, right? Like, mm-hmm. don't bite the hand that is feeding you, right? Right. But at the same time, like, if you have a strong belief for something, you should be able to stand up for that and speak your mind, you know? But there is a time and a place, and there is a professional way of doing it. And I don't mm-hmm. think she actually went about, went about it that way, you know? So you can't, you shouldn't just, like you know, spill out your guts on Twitter or whatever, maybe whoever it is, pull them to the side and have a conversation. You know, there's, there's definitely better ways of doing it. And yeah, I don't know if the way that she went about it was probably the way that I would handle it, but you know, that's neither here or there. (laughs) We're here Mm -hmm. now. Right. She, she, she at least should have gotten like a slap on a uh, slap on the wrist or talking to like to lose your job is so extreme. Yeah. Chris, we got the nerd dad in the building. Let's pull up his Yo. comment here. He says she definitely has a case, but it's definitely not an easy case to win. There's a good amount of variables with what she said that offended a lot of people. A very unfortunate situation. Yes, I agree. I agree. It's very unfortunate. Um, it's just a hard one, man. And like I said earlier, it's a business, right? Disney's mm-hmm. a business. And yeah. they... Um, you know, they, they want to keep their business in this, this perfect box. And I Mm -hmm. get it. You know what I mean? Like as having a, as a YouTube channel and stuff like that, right. It's a, this is a small, tiny YouTube channel, but at the the same time, like I want to be viewed a certain way. You know what I mean? Like I want to be viewed as a good person or whatever. I don't want to look as like a prick, you know? And so when you start talking about Disney, right? Blue chip stock company, billions of dollars, right? Uh, they have a lot more uh, standards than, yeah. than I do. So I get it. I get it. But, um, you know, this is America and there's freedom of speech. So there's got to be some sort of balance, you know? Mm-hmm. Chris, let's see what you got. What you got? Unfortunately, there's part where she talked to Disney with some of her last posts when she did it again. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dang, I didn't know Disney talked to her. See, like I for I pretty much almost forgot about this whole situation because this was like like three, four years ago. Like it <laughs> I just now remembered because of because of you know they're bringing it back up because she's suing. Yeah. Like 
and and like Chris said, like it's going to be tough. I feel like it's going to be tough because Disney has the best lawyers like ever. <laughs> like you know what I mean? For sure. And like of course, he was you know I must that backing her up. I mean, she's probably going to get good lawyers too. But like man, it's going to be hard. I hope she wins it for sure. But man, it like. Like what Chris said, it is gonna be really tough. Yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain, dude. That's gonna be a pain. But that is what it is. I don't have much more to say on that. I just know that that's a sticky situation, and that absolutely mm-hmm. sucks. Absolutely yeah. sucks. So, 